Hi friends, in this video let us see the first learning rule, error correction learning rule. We have already discussed what is meant by learning and how the learning is important in neural network in last lecture. So now let us see the first and foremost learning rule which is error correction. I have written as NNLR error correction. So NN stands for neural networks, LR for learning rule and this is the error correction learning rule. So let us see how the learning correction learn, error correction learning rule will help us in neural network. First the block diagram. Let me take a simple single neuron output neuron K and this is an output neuron so this the input for this neuron is x of n and the output is yk of n. The x of n can be provided by one or more hidden neurons and even the hidden neurons have the input input vector it's from input vector. Now what we need to do here is we need to compare the output yk of n with the desired output dk of n and it will gen it will definitely produce a produce an error ek of n and ek of n is the difference between the desired output and the actual output maybe the difference between the desired response and the actual response so obviously it should be the actual response is to be subtracted from the desired response so it should be ek of n is equal to dk of n minus yk of n and this will this will change the weights of output neuron k this is what the rule state rule says the rule says that based on the change in based on the difference between the desired response and the actual response error is produced based on this error we are going to change the weights of synaptic weights of the output neuron k then and based on this change in weight the yk of n will change and the yk of n will keep on approaching dk of n such that ek of n will be approximately equal to zero this is what the rule exactly the error correction rule is so let, let's see how it will be done mathematically. In the mathematical equations means the error at the neuron k is we have already discussed this e k of n is equal to d k of n minus y k of n. Next the error energy to be minimized is in this system there should be some error energy error this is the error energy or we can take it as a cost function we need to minimize this function so that the error will be zero and here we need to take e of n is equal to half e k square of n is the error energy so we need to minimize this error in minimizing this error it should leads to a learning rule and this rule is called delta rule or window of rule this is very very important rule in neural networks based on this rule we need to change our weights and here the weight w k j of n that means this is the weight between j -th neuron and the k -th neuron and this will be this will be the change in weight will be eta e k of n x j of n we know that eta is the learning rule and e k of n is the error error produced by the desired response and the actual response and xj of n is the input to the input of neuron input of neuron of course one single entity of the input of neuron k and next this is the change in weight yes we have obtained change in weight now how to update the weight the updation of weight will be wkj n plus 1 is equal to wkj of n plus delta w k j of n. So this rule is very simple. It contains only four equations. The first equation is how the error will be. 
the error is the difference between the actual response sorry desired response and the actual response now what is the energy for error energy or the cost function we are going to minimize that is e of n is equal to of e k square of n so how we need to minimize this error energy by using delta rule or windrow of rule that is delta w k j of n is equal to eta e k of n x j of n now how to update the weight the weight will be updated as w k j of n plus 1 is equal to w k j of n plus delta w k j of n this if we do all these steps we will we, we will get one iteration to be completed once we completed the iteration then same we need to see the error again definitely it is having some error of course it may be less than the previous one and now and now we need to follow all these steps to get the error somewhat lesser in this way we need to continue the operation for n number of iterations so this is the actual way and here n represents the number of iterations only okay next yeah this is the signal flow graph how it will be shown as a signal flow graph and the inputs inputs x1 x2 yeah these are the inputs so let us see x1 of n is the first input and x2 of n and so on xj of n and so on xm of n where j is the representation of all these input input signals so we are representing it as a j and m is the total number of input signals so now what happened next this the weights are wki k1 wk2 wkj wkm as the neuron is kth neuron here we have taken the kth neuron so the net input or induced local field is vk of n and it will be and it will be changed to output of the kth neuron yk of n after coming from activation function here the activation function is phi of dot this can be taken as any activation function now this is our output here oh, we already obtained yk of n now we need to obtain dk of n and dk of n will be given from right side and this is dk of n and yes dk of n minus yk of n will be our error signal vk of n once we obtain the ek of n then our job is to change the weights so the weights will be changed in this way so this is called signal flow graph we have we have explained everything in the previous diagram itself but now we have shown these things in a signal flow graph now let us discuss why the signal flow graph is obtained and what is the significance of this the input signal xj and the induced local field or net input vk of n are the presynaptic and postsynaptic signals of j synapse on neuron k so let me take it j synapse yeah xj of n xj of n wkj and the n vk of n this this entire system thing is called j synapse this is j synapse and the weight of the j synapse from j in signal to k k neuron is w k j so out of so the, he is explaining this thing now let us discuss this one so these these two are the presynaptic and postsynaptic signals of j synapse on neuron k and this is a it's a closed loop feedback system and the stability depends on the feedback parameter eta feedback parameter eta this is a learning rate parameter and this parameter is very very important if you if you are unable to take the perfect value of this instead of converging the system you are making it as diverged that means your system never come to an end that means your error is keep on 
increasing it never be minimized those problems will be there so be careful while selecting the learning rate eta and the not only this the step accuracy of the system also depends on eta so to in selecting eta the k you need to be very very careful as the most two important things are depends on eta only one is stability and second one is accuracy this is this is the entire explanation of error correction learning rule if i commit any mistake please let me know in a, in the comment box and if you have any doubts please write in the comment box so that i will give you the reply and thank you so much for 300 plus subscriptions till date and if you like this video please like it if you like to share this video please share with your friends and if you still you are not subscribed till date so please subscribe to the youtube channel and please press the bell button so that you will get the notifications whenever i upload the video thank you thank you so much